Hello everybody, Brian with Lazy Man again. Uh, we get a couple questions asked all the time, so we're here loading up a big order to go out to one of our dealers, and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to kind of address it. Two questions we get are, one, how can we have an all fiberglass stand, including the floor, which I'll show you here in a little bit, that retails for under $2,000. All of our blinds retail for less than $2,000, and they're all 100% fiberglass construction. Again, I'll show you some more of that in a minute. The other question we get a lot is why we don't finish out the inside of our blinds. And those two questions are actually uh, you know, sort of one and the same, right? The reason that we don't finish out the inside of our blinds is because, as you can see, we nest them unassembled going to our dealers. So if we would paint the inside of our blinds and finish them out, we wouldn't be able to do this. <clears throat> Therefore, the freight costs to get you the blind would be 10 times as expensive as what it is by being able to nest the blinds. So that's why we don't nest the, that's why we don't pre-assemble and finish out the inside of the blinds. We're trying to keep our blinds at a price point that everybody can afford. The other thing that we've found is our customers typically enjoy finishing out the inside of the blinds how they want them. So if we would finish out the blinds on the inside, not only would we be having to raise our pricing to the consumer, we would uh, not be able to nest the blinds and therefore the cost would be substantially more. And again, our customers would be kind of tied into how we finish out the blinds. Some of our customers want shooting rest, some of our customers don't. Some want carpet, some want rubber floor matting you name it. So by shipping the blinds unfinished on the inside, that allows us to nest the blinds, saves a tremendous amount of money on the floor. We're going to have 65 blinds on this trailer. If we would not nest the blinds and ship them unassembled to our dealers, we'd be able to fit about eight, depending on the blind, maybe 12 blinds max. Cost the same to ship this this 65 blinds it does it cost eight to ship eight to 12 blinds. Okay folks, <clears throat> so in the first part of this little clip we showed uh, how we nest the blinds when we load them and explained that that's why we don't finish out the inside of our blinds because <clears throat> we wouldn't be able to do that and then obviously the consumer, you, would be paying a lot of extra money for uh, freight. <clears throat> so this is what the blind looks like. Apologize, I got a customer driving off with a blind that they picked up. But the inside of the blind is just 100% fiberglass. It's it's black on the inside because we put a dye in the resin so that it so the fiberglass is all black. <clears throat> it's not black spray paint. Again, if we painted it or did anything on the inside, as soon as we nested these blinds, you can kind of see how tightly they're nested. Uh, you know, they just get all scrapped up, scraped up, etc. So that's why we don't uh, ourselves finish out the blinds. We're trying to save you money and get you a 100% fiberglass blind at an economical price. Okay. <clears throat> We're now in the, the metal building that John and Tammy Hart with uh, Hart's Boat and RV Storage, again down here in uh, Cleveland, Texas, uh, one of our great uh, dealers that we're proud to have here at uh, Lazy Man. And I want to show you, uh, and I'm going to ask John to maybe talk a little bit about some of the different options that he does for finishing out the inside of the blinds. And then he also has a couple really cool accessories made, uh, um, aluminum uh, bases uh, for one, for the blinds. So, uh, John, I'm just going to kind of pan around to the side if you want to. Yeah, what we, uh, this is going into our sixth season with Lazy Man. and. Uh, we average about 80 to 100 blinds that we sell here each year. And early on, uh, when uh, we started uh, six years ago, when we got the, the first set of blinds in, uh, we were looking at some different options, how to dress them up after putting them together, you know, for our display. And we tried the blue insulation and all that, and I just thought it looked tacky for the, the quality of blind that we were dealing with. So what we started doing here is building a uh, carpeted wall panel and it's in this blind here, the fat grill combo, 
it has six panels and we carpet the floor and the wings and then we carpet all the panels and then what we do here locally is we'll sell the blind unassembled with the panels uh, in a platform or whatever the, the, uh, the uh, purchaser may want and sometimes and in most cases actually we do assemble the blind and then we'll install the carpet depending on what type of platform they buy. Uh, we personally like for them to mount the blind to their base or platform prior to putting the carpet in for two reasons. One is you want to mount the base, the, the blind to the base of the platform. And the second reason is for weight. A lot of people are buying these because they're lightweight. When you start throwing that carpet and those panels in there, it becomes extremely heavy. So we started doing that. About two thirds of the blinds that we sell from our location here in Cleveland uh, go out with carpeted panels and a platform or a sled. Um, and we have multiple options there as well. Um, we just wanted to dress up the blind, uh, with, you know, as for our displays, and, and people love it. And that's what they come in and they end up buying most of them. We also, here locally, we had two wooden shelves on each side below the gun windows. And that can serve multiple purposes. It can be to, you know, put your, your sandbags on or your binoculars or whatever. Uh, we've been asked about building gun racks and doing all kinds of stuff, but we actually we don't want to do that. But we, we, this is all we'll do: carpet, you know, halfway up. If they want it to go, you know, do the whole blind. That's something that they have to do. Um, and it's relatively inexpensive by the time you know you get it all you know, for us to do it. Um, and I get folks the uh, dimensions if they want to do it themselves. Yeah. It's that easy. They go to Home Depot, uh, indoor outdoor carpeting, easy to work with. So yeah. that's what we do here locally. We want, we, we're very proud of the Lazy Man uh, the product. Uh, again, this is our sixth season, and uh, we've sold over 500 blinds in the last five years. So um, we're excited to, to, to try the new windows out and everything, and hope to see you soon.